Good afternoon. We are the Blended Learning PLC. So we defined blended learning as the routine and consistent use of technology in the classroom. Now this can be in the classroom, or you can also do it outside the classroom where it's available 24 seven for kids to access whenever it best suits them. I had some goals for starting the school year this year that I wanted to come in and change a little bit of how my classroom worked. I knew that there was a lot of technology available and a lot of things I could use if I leveraged the internet and the connectivity that these kids automatically have to the internet using their phones and everything else. I challenged myself to consider what if I could put all the direct instruction stuff on the internet available to them. That way students that need vocabulary and lessons and kind of just direct download type information could literally go to the web whenever they wanted to and download it. And then I could take my time inside the classroom to work with them more personally, one-on-one. -on -one. Use that time for things that they can't do at home. Uh, they can read a book at home, that means they can check a video at home. Those are the things that I wanted to offload and put on the web and let them do in their time. The things that I want them to do in the classroom with me are the interactive things. Personally, I would much rather be rotating between groups or students doing activities, providing scaffolding help when needed, giving a little bit of extra ideas that students may have, answering any questions that students may have. Um, I would much rather uh, be hands-on, one-on-one for small moments of time than standing in front of the class giving directions to 30 students. It also helps you when you're trying to be consistent because you can give each class the same thing if you record it, so it's you at your best. And so instead of being like, oh, I missed this in second mod, but I did this in my set, you know, third class just right, and now you have to remember what to go back over, if you have some of these things where you're either even showing them in class what's going on, you can do this instead of some of your lecture, and that way you ensure they all get exactly what you want them to get, the best that you can offer instead of having to juggle all this and try to make sure you say every single point in every single class. It's exactly what I want them to know instead of what somebody else is saying, which might be what I want to know, but not all of it. What I would really like to do in my classroom is to get kids to experience science through activities and hands-on ideas. This is difficult when you have to spend much of your time introducing techniques, ideas, instructions for labs. It'd be much easier if kids could come into the classroom, know what needs to be done, and get started on the lab right away. That way we have the entire time to collect data, analyze the data, and come up with good responses for a scientific class. In addition <laughs> to the traditional supports in the classroom of doing classwork and group work and labs, um, also want to bridge that with support at home using internet resources, um, using sites like Quizzes and Quizlet and Remind um, to maintain that touch with the students outside of the classroom and using the class, my class website Weebly, which allows students to go on and check every day and see what we do and get um, links for support at, while they're at home. They're going to find every single day what we've done in class and links for review if they've missed it. Things like the test prep page to help them get ready for their state assessments. Now, the reasons to try to do blended learning would be to help out especially your top kids and your bottom kids. So oftentimes you'll have kids that are absent or kids that could use more. So if you do things like have videos either you've made or somebody else made that you just link to, you can then have those kids go back over stuff if they didn't get it. If they weren't there because they were absent, they can go back and still watch it and get caught up with that lesson. And if you have kids that are advanced, you can either have kind of special videos for them that go beyond what you have or have additional videos ideally set up so that they're engaging in kind of the fun stuff, but ones that require them to go more in depth in the material. So personally, when I've used this, I would say the biggest benefits I have is I'll have kids that medically are out for quite a long time and they can still stay with me. I've had kids have surgery and be gone for like a month and a half. They come back and they watch the videos, they looked over the material, and so they're about 90% where they need to be despite the fact they miss days. So we have some kids that have mental issues or physical issues that tend to miss days pretty consistently. You know them, they miss about one day a week perhaps. And if they are bright especially, they can just go through and keep up with things. So if overall they're doing fine in your course. This isn't gonna impact their education at that point because you have these available. And it's no additional work for you because the materials are pre-prepared. It... 
So we thank you all for listening to our presentation. We hope you enjoy it, and we hope you'll consider continuing to learn with us how we can better improve our instruction in the classroom and outside the classroom.